Hi there, Steve Better from the UK here, just with a little tip about altering your ground plane in Autodesk Inventor 2011. So we've all seen the new visualization tools that we've got inside of Inventor 2011 uh, to add that extra level of realism within the uh, within the designs that we're working on. And one of the new tools is the ability to add reflections and shadows and ground planes. So with this model of this robot that we've got, we're going to start to add some of those new visualization tools, adding some shadows, adding some reflections. We'll change the view to a perspective view, and we'll also place on there the ground plane. But as you can see, the model looks a lot more realistic now, but you can see that the ground plane is in the wrong orientation. Well, there's a really quick tip that can help you place the ground plane in the orientation that you want. Just set the view cube to the view that you want, in this case the left view, and then right click and then choose set current view as front. That'll then reorientate the view cube to give you the view that you want reorientate in your ground plane so you now get the reflections and the shadows on the ground plane at the base of the robot. The new view tools inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011 add that extra level of realism to, so you can communicate your product designs to your colleagues internally and also externally with your customers.